Hello Kido, Sir E is here and for this video we will talk about the empirical formula of a compound. <laughs> when a compound's percent composition is known, its formula can be calculated. If you haven't watched my video yet on percentage composition and how to compute it, I suggest to pause this video and watch it first so that you know how to do or calculate the percent composition of a certain compound. This will be helpful as well for you to visualize and understand how empirical formula is being calculated. The empirical formula for a compound is the formula with the smallest whole number mole ratio of the elements. We have to remember the following concepts. First, the empirical formula might or might not have the same as the actual molecular formula. Sir, what is molecular formula? In my next video, I will teach you how to compute the molecular formula. So some compounds have the same empirical and molecular formula, but others have different. Second, for ionic compounds, empirical formula is always equal to molecular formula. As you recall, ionic compounds are composed of metal and nonmetal. And its formula is always in the simplest form. Thus, its formula, thus, its empirical and molecular formula are just the same. Let us proceed now on how to calculate the empirical formulas. For us to be guided on how to compute for the empirical formula of compounds, we can use this poem to remember these steps. Percent to mass, mass to moles, divide by small, multiply till whole. With that, let's proceed to example number one. Methyl acetate is a solvent commonly used in some paints, inks, and adhesives. Determine the empirical formula for methyl acetate, which has the following chemical analysis. 48.64% carbon, 8% 0.16% hydrogen, and 43.20% oxygen. Based on the poem that we have read, our first step is percent to mass. First, let's list down the given. For carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. But take note, we have to assume that the sample is equal to 100 grams. And with that, Carbon is equal to 48.64 grams, while hydrogen takes 8.16 grams, while oxygen is 43.20 grams. And we're done with step number one. Let's proceed to the next step. Step number two, mass to mole. We have learned previously the conversion of mass to mole. And with that, we will apply this concept in here. So let's begin with the carbon, 48.64 grams times 1 mole over 12.01 gram. Always remember that 1 mole of carbon is always equal to 12.01 gram. Sir, where did you get the 12.01 gram? This is the atomic mass of carbon and this can be found in the periodic table of elements. Then let's do the computation. And the answer is 4.05 mole. The same method or process will be applied to hydrogen and oxygen. You may pause this video and do the computation first. So we got this solution for hydrogen and for oxygen. And the answer for hydrogen is 8.08 mole, while oxygen is 2.70 mole. 
And we're done with the second step. Let's have step number three. Divide by small. Having this answer from step number two, the small there refers to the smallest answer or smallest small that can be found from the answer in step number two. And the smallest there is 2.70 mole. With that, we will use this value to divide all the computed or calculated moles. And it appears to be like this. And the answer for carbon is 1.5, hydrogen, 3, then oxygen, 1. You have to remember that we want whole number ratios. However, the result of carbon is 1.5. So therefore, we need to proceed to the next step, which is multiply till whole. So we have to think of a number that when we multiply 1.5, it will become a whole number. And the smallest number that we can use is 2. With this, we have to multiply as well the hydrogen and oxygen. And the result for carbon is 3 for hydrogen, 6, and for oxygen, 2. With this, we can now determine the empirical formula of methyl acetate. And its empirical formula is C3H6O2. And we are done with our computation. This is a bit long process, but with the guide of the poem or these steps, you can easily follow the process. This time, it's your turn. I have here two drills or two questions for you to apply what you have learned about the computation of empirical formula. Once more, just follow the steps. Percent to mass, mass to mole, divide by small, multiply till whole. You have to pause this video and later, let's check your answers. The answer for number one is the empirical formula for ascorbic acid or vitamin C is C3H4O3. How about our compound X, which involves the elements barium, carbon, and oxygen? The correct answer here is BaCO3. This is an ionic compound. And if we name it, it is barium carbonate. And that's it. We are done. I hope you learned how to compute for the empirical formula of a compound. Watch my next video on how to compute for molecular formula. See you again and enjoy learning. Bye-bye. God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>